I want to show you how to load in patterns and brushes into Photoshop. So let's take a look. I'm looking at brushes right now, so I'm on the brush tool. And as you can see, there's a lot of brushes already loaded into Photoshop. I mean, you got some cool ones like leaves and grass and stars. and a, I mean, you have a lot of brushes here. Sometimes you need some more choices. Sometimes you need some very special brushes, such as clouds, smoke, brushes of people. So I'm going to show you how to do it. You click this little triangle right up there. And, uh, you know, it's very, very simple. So you just click the little triangle right up here. And then you're going to go down and in the middle here. It says load brushes. Now you have to download these brushes. And I want to give you some websites later on. Now here it opens up brushes, but we don't see anything. That's because this is the Photoshop brushes folder. I have saved my brushes on the desktop in a folder called brushes. <laughs> so I find the one that I want. You can only load one brush at a time. Um, so here I'm looking for one with real smoke because I, they look really, really cool. And you're going to find lots out there on smoke. So there it is. I There, and I click load. And now it's going to be at the very, very bottom of your brushes. So you can't see them there. I just scroll way, way down. And I want to find one. Oh, there. Here's a good one, for example. I'm going to change the color to blue. And boom. Check this out. That is cool. Okay, loading patterns is very, very, very easy. I'm going to zoom up here so you can see exactly where I am on the toolbar. You're going to want the paint bucket tool. The paint bucket tool. And up here in the paint bucket tool, it says foreground because it usually just dumps color in there. But we wanted to dump a pattern in. So we're going to change it from foreground to pattern. And you see the little box next to it? Okay, and this is what comes standard default. These patterns, honestly, are kind of lame. So I want to load more patterns. So it's very similar to the brushes. I click the little triangle, gives me a flyout menu, and I have right there load patterns. Again, I have to go find where my patterns are downloaded. And so there, I put it in a folder there called patterns. Again, I've downloaded all those. Those are all individual files I've downloaded. I'm going to find one here with animal prints because they look really, really cool. Um, so, And again, just like brushes, when you load them, it adds them to the bottom of the list. And as you can see, there are some cool ones. So I'm going to put it here and I'm going to dump it on and boom. It's always a good idea to put patterns on their own layer. If not, this is what happens. It gets a little confused and it kind of blends it in with it. It just doesn't look good. So please make sure you're putting it on its own layer. Uh, that way it doesn't cover up any of the other hard work you've done. Now, here are some websites where you can find free patterns and brushes.